Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Vanessa. She back and she better. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your YouTube covers with your Android device, this time without a microphone. Sound legit, right? So if you guys are interested to know how to do it, definitely keep on watching this video. Also, I'm really sorry for not posting for almost two weeks now. I've been really, really busy with some stuff. So yeah, please excuse me for that. But the most important thing is i'm back girl so make sure to give this video a big big thumbs up if you enjoyed the content if you appreciate the effort and also subscribe to my channel because girl we almost at 5,000 subscribers so thank you guys so so much for subscribing and yeah without further ado let's just get started into this video Hey guys so before we get into it i just want to talk about the things that you're going to need for this video so for this video you're just going to need your android device any android device will do i'm using the j7 pro i believe i'm not sure but it's like the j7 um series and the other thing that you're going to need is of course your earphones and that's the two things that you're going to need for this video so freaking simple okay you probably already have this with you so right now i'm just going to figure out how i'm gonna screen record this and i'm gonna get right back with you guys okay just give me a sec three two one all right guys so we are now screen recording so if you guys don't know how to download the music or the instrumental from youtube then definitely go watch my first video on the android um, version i'll put the link up here so you guys can watch that i don't want to waste any more time in this video so i'm just going to basically summarize it for you guys just go onto youtube search for the song that you want to cover and then download the instrumental save it um and then go on to google chrome and then search for youtube to mp3 converter and then paste the link there and then download it into your phone and that's all you need to do girl like that's all so after you do that you want to go on to band lab so this is what band lab looks like so a lot of you guys have been telling me that you guys have latency problem in band lab and um i am aware of that where your vocals are like later than the instrumental even when you're recording at the same time so um i figured out how to like stop that i guess hopefully um i really don't know what to do as well so um what you need to do is click on this plus in the middle and we're gonna import track okay so I'm just gonna use shallow again as my um, demo because that song is just really easy mm -hmm. um, so as you can see the song is importing right now Okay, right, guys so now that the instrumental has imported I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to um, lessen the latency um, so you want to click on the settings button on top and when you go down you can see right here there is this thing called latency fix so you want to click on that and what you need to do is you want to click on retake test or something because I already like took the test or whatever to stop the latency so this is what you can do to stop the latency so it says we are going to increase the volume to maximum okay so this is the latency tax uh, I mean test or whatever so your average latency is zero uh, minutes so that is good do you want to apply this fix you can change latency in settings okay so we got okay guys so that is basically what you need to do to lessen the latency um yeah hopefully that helps so now let's try to record this without a microphone so what you need to do first is of course import the track now that we've imported the track we're gonna add a new track for our vocals so you want to click on voice 
and right here as you can see this is where your vocals are going to be recorded so now what you need to do is you want to put in your earphones into your phone so before we get started you want to turn on the monitor this is the monitor so make sure it is on right there and then you want to go onto this FX button right here. Personally, I think um, the latency is caused because we have effects on the vocals. So while you're doing the recording, it's best if you don't put any effects. Like you can put in the effects after that, if that makes sense. So make sure you have no, no effects on the vocal right now. So now all you need to do is start singing. So I'm going to sing it and I'm going to be right back because I'm not allowed to sing it while screen recording so i'm gonna be right back okay okay guys so as you guys can see i just recorded my vocals and i'm just gonna tell you guys right now i experienced the latency sort of thing that you guys were talking about and it was really annoying me just like one paragraph took me like what like half an hour to record it and it's really really annoying so what i figured you guys should do is just go on to settings and go back to that latency fix option and you want to turn off latency fix so when i turn off latency fix um there was no latency while i was singing but at some point it came back so my tip is when the latency comes back you want to stop recording for a few seconds and then get back into recording again so when you start recording again the latency will not happen but it will come back later so this is uh, kind of annoying um, I get it now what you guys were trying to say so yeah that's my tip so when the latency comes back you want to stop recording for a few seconds and then get back into recording and the latency will stop for a while just for a while it will come back again so yeah hopefully that helps you guys out so yeah so this is what i recorded sounds like play it tell me something girl are you happy in this modern world or do you need more is there something else you're searching for i'm falling in all the good times i find myself longing for change in all the bad times I fear myself yeah. Alright guys, so now that you guys heard the results um, I did sing it just now I didn't take the shortcut by using um, the audio from my previous um, recordings I just recorded just now And yeah, hopefully the result is good enough to convince you guys to use this app Okay, also I'm not sponsored the way I said it was like I was paid to do this, but I'm not. But Ben Lab, if you want to sponsor me, girl, my email, my email down there. Actually, just you guys were asking me a lot about Auto Tune. So Auto Tune is literally right in front of you. It says Auto Pitch, and then what you can do is you can add like light Auto Tune or medium Auto Tune or heavy Auto Tune. But this auto-tune is kind of tricky because you have to like match it with the key of the song. So let's say this song is in a G. You have to put it in a G. But this auto-tune is actually not that great because it doesn't really auto-tune things that well. I don't know. There's like good quality auto-tune and just like low quality auto-tune. Auto but if you want to use the auto-tune, you can go ahead. Just find out the key of the song that you're singing and then put the key and then just put if you want medium or heavy auto-tune i'm not gonna put any auto-tune on my vocals because they are pretty good already yeah <laughs> flexing okay so the thing that i told you guys not to put was the effects so now that you've finished recording you can put the effects on so my personal favorite is classic chamber um and large hall so yeah decide on which one you like and just apply that onto your vocals so yeah that is basically it so to save the song you just have to click on the top right this thing right here and you want to click on save 
and then just type in the name of the song shallow save that and just click on view at the bottom and then as you can see the song is currently processing because I don't have internet um, in this room so once it's done you just want to click on the three button on the top right and then you want to click on download and once it's download you can have the option to email it or to post it on whatsapp or whatever i usually put it on whatsapp and send it to my iphone and then i'll do the rest of the editing on my computer or whatever and we done girl we are done Alright okay guys, so that is basically the video. It was really, really simple apart from the latency part, which is really annoying. This app needs to do something about the latency. But other than that, everything is just really simple and straightforward. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And if you have a friend who wants to record their own covers on their phone or on YouTube, definitely share this video with them. You know, don't be selfish, girl. Like, come on now, share the information we have to be successful together you know what i'm saying so yeah hopefully this video helped um each and every one of you who are watching this video if it did make sure to give this video a big big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel thank you guys so so much for subscribing i'm so close to 5,000 subscribers yes so yeah make sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys want to know how to do because your girl is literally out of idea like literally empty so please let me know like video suggestions in the comment section and yeah i guess that is all for this outro i'm gonna go see you guys in my next video bye guys